Hey you guys, it's Megan. Today I just wanted to share with you my makeup look. And I was so inspired by this photo that January Jones posted on her Instagram yesterday. I know you can't really see it. But it's this beautiful cut crease look with um, just a, like a pale lip. And I'll have it linked down below so you guys can get a better idea of it. And I might do a tutorial on it, but I'm just going to kind of like explain what I did because I really like how it turned out like it's not as I don't know it's not exactly the same as you can see and I don't look like January Jones but I just thought this was a really cool look and I was really inspired by it so for my eyes I started with the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 13 and it's just this beautiful champagne color and Sam gave this to me and I've actually never used it. So today was the first day I used it and it was beautiful. It applied so easily, blended so nice and it was that perfect like peachy champagne color. Then I used my Makeup for uh Make up Academy MUA Heaven and Earth palette and I mixed together this shade and this shade to do my lid so that's like that peachy color on the lid that's really shimmery then for my crease this was the most difficult part I had to I started with this eye and it got just like really like out of control basically so I had to start again but what I did the second time was just using a pencil brush. This is a Sigma pencil brush. And I went in with this like brownish shade first and just kind of carved out the shape of what I wanted in the crease. And then I took the MUA Undress Me 2 palette, which is the dupe for the Naked 2. And I just used these two shades, the matte black and the one that is a dupe for snake bite. And I mixed those together and continued to carve out my crease. And then as I was doing it, I would just blend out this top edge of the shadow just to have it blend a little bit. Because I wanted the bottom portion to be crisp, but the top portion I wanted it to be a little feathered. So I just used this little um, brush from Target that I love just to do the edges. I didn't like do a lot of pressure, I just slightly did it. Then, um, so I kept going back with mixing these colors and just trying to get the right look out of it. And then I went in with my liquid liner. I used my Jessie's Girl um, liquid liner and just did a line um, with it. But instead of going like up like I usually did do, I went more straight. And then I connected the bottom lash line with the wing. And so it just, it gave a really, really cool look. I really like it. This eye didn't turn out as well as this eye, but... You see this eye more with my haircut anyhow. And then um, for my tight line, I use the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is their highliner gel crayon in blacker. And this is awesome for the tight line. So I like look up and I put it up there. And then I use the Rimmel Scandalize in nude for my waterline. And then I mix the same colors from the Undress Me 2 palette. And went back with my pencil brush and went underneath the eye. Um, well, mostly, actually, I just used the snake bite color. And then with a more precise brush, I took the black and went really tight at my lash line just to give it that little um, darkness and a little more smokiness. So that is the eye look. I love it. I think that it's so pretty and... Um, different than what I normally do, but I absolutely love it. And then for the face, I'm feeling extra fancy today, and I use the Guerlain Laundry de Peau Foundation in Beige Pale for the first time, and I love it. This foundation, I know you can't really tell in the webcam, but it literally looks like skin. It is so beautiful. I know it is like the most ridiculously expensive thing in the universe, but it is such, such a beautiful foundation. Like I've never experienced something that looks so much like skin. So I love this. 
and January in the picture doesn't really look like she's wearing anything on her cheeks but I just did um, a little bit of the Inglot AMC highlight just on the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit on my cupid's bow and then I went lightly in with the perfect cheek from MAC on a Real Techniques blush brush and I just got a little bit and just did mostly at the backs of my cheeks and a little bit at the front and it just gave a little bit of shape. And then the last thing are the lips and I used the Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup lipstick that Jaclyn Hill created and it's not as nude as the um, lipstick January is wearing but it's the nudest I have and um, the color that she's wearing in the picture does seem like a pinkish nude I guess I don't know you can't really tell but um, I really loved it. I love being inspired by different looks, looks that I don't normally do, but I love it. I think that it's so, so pretty, so, like, just nice looking. I think that it's a really just fun but pretty look, and um, I'm definitely going to be wearing this more in the future. I just really like it. So if you do want a, like more get ready with me style. I tried to do it, <laughs> tried to make a get ready with me for it, but um, with this webcam and me not knowing what I was doing, I can't edit these videos without the audio getting messed up. So I'm just gonna wait till my camera comes and then if you guys want a tutorial on it, I will make one. But I just think that it's really fun really pretty and I'm wearing um, one of my favorite tops from Kohl's. This is one that I got last year or two years ago. It's like so, I just love it. And then one of my favorite necklaces from Zara. It's just this crazy big necklace um, and some pearl earrings. And then, oh my god, I'm just wearing like black skinny jeans. My new ones from American Eagle. So that is that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I've never really done a video like this before, but um, I don't know, maybe it was something cool and something different and I like sharing with you a new look that I decided to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you soon. Bye!